to the Adeline and Luna channel. On today's treasure trove, we're opening five Taylor Swift themed blind boxes. I had a lot of fun choosing blind boxes for this video, and if you're a Taylor Swift fan, you'll have to let me know in the comments after we open them if you think I nailed the theme. I think I'm gonna start with our most obvious one. We have Spotlight 13th Anniversary from Popmart. 13 is Taylor Swift's favorite number, so I just had to pick it. I just opened up this series for the first time two weeks ago, so I'm excited to see who I get. I'm really hoping for Hachi Pew Pew or Dimu or Pucky. Alright, let's go ahead and see who is in our first box for today's video. This is a pretty heavy box, so I think there's a good chance we got one of the ones I wanted. I can feel an accessory right here at the top. Oh no, okay, I'm gonna try and hide the accessory because I think it'll spoil who we got. I didn't pay too much attention to who has an accessory, so I'm curious which one this is, but let's see. Oh, it's Pucky. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got Pucky. This is one of my favorite ones from this series. She comes inside a martini glass. So that should be our accessory that I hid back here. This martini glass is so cute. So we have a lid for it, a little accessory for the hand, and then the martini glass. And look at how sparkly and metallic the top of our martini glass is. I love that. And then we have like a little lollipop candy. And I just realized this isn't a lid. It's supposed to be the water or champagne in the martini glass. So that goes in like that. And then our cute little Pucky goes inside of the cup and just lounges. I love this. The champagne girl burlesque vibe to it just goes so well with the 1920s, 1930s vibe. And this one is perfect because it goes with Taylor Swift's video. I think our Pucky here is our mini Dita Von Tees from that video for sure. And here's our card for Pucky. This character is called Fairy Charm. And I really like the card for this series. I love how it's gold. It looks really awesome. And I think this is super adorable. I think this is one of my favorite Puckies we've ever gotten. I really like the details of the champagne glass. It goes so well with the theme. And I didn't like all of this series. So I was really happy that I got one of the ones I really like. If you really like Pucky in the champagne glass though, and you didn't want to pick up a blind box of this, this is one of the cheapest ones on the aftermarket. I really like it though. I think Pucky looks incredible. I love the outfit. There's just so many details. I wasn't a huge fan of everything from this series, but that's always the case when you get an all-star series like this where there's a bunch of different characters you can get. I ended up getting two of the cheapest ones on the aftermarket though, which sucks because I did pay full price for these blind boxes and I could have bought in both of them for cheaper. I was hoping to get one of the Hirano, Hachi Pew Pew, even the Skull Panda one, which are really expensive on the aftermarket, so I'm sad I didn't get one of them. I definitely think for this series though, I won't be buying any more blind boxes, but I might pick up one or two, maybe from a reseller. I really love this Pucky one though. It is just so adorable. I'm a huge fan of Pucky and I think this is one of my favorites from this series. And I think next we're gonna go for Femi Sweet. This is from the indie studio Polly Studio. I just had to do a cat themed blind boxes. I didn't have any series that feature cats that look like Taylor's, but this dessert theme is adorable. And of course we had to have a cat themed blind box. So I really like this peach and this matcha one and they are both flocked. So these are gonna look really, really cute. I hope we end up getting one of them, but this is such a cute series. All right, let's go ahead and see which cat I ended up getting. I think if we don't get one of the flock ones, I would love the blueberry one as well. I think that one is super precious. And I've never opened up anything from this brand or this character before. So this is my first Femi Sweet figure. Ooh, I feel flocking. Who did we get? Oh, we got the peach one. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we got my favorite one. 
And this series did come with the card, although it is itty bitty, it is so tiny, it just says peach on it. And look at our cute dessert cat. Oh, I love it so much. So all of the little peaches on it are flocked, which is amazing. But I love how it looks like a cat just oozing out of this delicious dessert treat. On the bottom, we don't have any details. It's just completely squished. And I love the face of the cat. It's just really adorable. I'm not sure what dessert this is supposed to be. It could be like mochi ice cream or maybe some sort of cake. It's really cute. I will say on closer inspection, the details for this figure aren't as good as Pop Mart. I do see some scratches and indents, but I do think the flocking looks really good and feels really good. So overall, I do like this. And I honestly can't believe that I ended up getting my favorite. There was only six options and two secrets though. I was really hoping for the matcha one because I'll give you a secret. I might have already bought the peach one confirmed from the same seller. Which is too bad because I really should have just gotten two blind boxes of this instead. I was really hoping for one of the other ones. And our cute cat doesn't really look like any of Taylor Swift's cat, but it is a cute cat, so I think Taylor would approve. Next, let's open Pucky's Rabbit Cafe. I feel like Taylor has that autumn vibe, and the cafe theme from Pop Mart fits in so well with the sweater weather type of aesthetic she has. I know she releases a lot of her albums in autumn and fall, so that's the perfect season for her. I do have a few of these, so I'm hoping for no repeats today. Alright, let's go ahead and see who is inside. I'm really excited. I really liked this series. I wanted to almost get a full case of them. I actually don't drink coffee though, so it would be a weird series for me to have all of them. But let's see who's inside. Oh, it's the coffee bean one. I don't have this one. This one is super cute. And here is the card. We have Ice Latte Penguin, which is really cute. I didn't know there was any other animals in this series. I thought they were all rabbits. This pucky is so cute. I love how it's like a penguin sitting on top of a giant coffee bean inside of a coffee of some kind. And our coffee bean is in clear vinyl. It's hard to see, but if you hold it up to the light, it is really pretty. And I love our cute little penguin butt. It is adorable. And I really like the off-white hat. This penguin is so cute. I think Pucky is adorable. We even have a little bow tie. Super cute. I was such a big fan of this series though. As I said already, I really wanted to get a full case. So I'm pretty sure I would have loved whoever I got in this series. They're just so cute. I definitely need to get more from this series in the future. There's so many that I'm missing that I really love. If you like the vibe for this series or you're a big coffee lover, you want something to put beside your coffee maker, this might be a really cute figure to pick up. And I really love Pucky. I think if Taylor Swift was to actually buy a blind box and open them, she would probably like Pucky as a character because it's just so adorable. And I think we should do another Pop Mart one. I think I'm going to go for Hear and Know the other one. My favorite Taylor Swift albums are Folklore and Evermore. And I think this series from Hirano really embodies that gentle sadness and emotions. Much like her music from those two albums, it just has that hint of sadness. I definitely feel like the emotions in this series go really well with those two albums. And definitely let me know in the future if you want to see another Treasure Trove where I open up a series to go with each album. That might be really fun. If you watch my channel regularly, you know I have a lot of hear no from this series. So I'm just hoping for no repeat. I'm really excited to see who we have. And I think the packaging goes really well with her kind of like hand-drawn liner notes vibes. I think she would approve of this packaging as well. It's a bit tricky to open though. And the bags for this series are really cool as well. They have that paper bag vibe. 
and let's go ahead and open it up. I think we got a really big one. I'm curious to see who it is. Oh, we got the ghost one. This one is one of the most popular here in those. We have our cute little ghosty, and that means inside of the bag we have our mini ghost. Yeah, so we have our mini ghost right here with a white balloon. And here's a look at our little cute ghost pal. I really love this series from Lang. It's one of my favorites. And here is our awesomely illustrated card for the ghost. This was one of my favorites from this series. And when we have a look at our here and now, you can see the beautiful details in it. I don't know how well it comes across in camera, but in person, the figure looks dirty. And that is completely intentional. It's supposed to look like a dirty sheet and have that kind of gritty vibe to it. If you're familiar with here and now, a lot of the series have that vibe to it. This figure is just really simple but that doesn't mean there wasn't a lot of thought and detail put into it. And the glass eyes on here and now are so beautiful. I just really love here and now and this is an amazing figure. You can definitely tell why this is a favorite. It's just such an incredible figure. I'm so glad we got it. This is a repeat for me of course. I already have this one. I was hoping for something different because I am missing a lot from this series. I wish when it first came out I had gotten a full case. I'm kicking myself now for not picking it up but I do own all of my favorites so there's just a few that I'm missing that I definitely should pick up at some point in time. I was hoping this one was a new one but I love ghosts so much I can't be mad at getting a second one. It's just so incredible. I really love here now. Okay let's open our last blind box for today. I'm sure you've been wondering why Farmer Bob's Bobland is in this lineup. But honestly, doesn't this seem like a series that fits her boyfriends over the years? We have a clown, a vampire, a cowboy, even a rat knight, and a midnight ghost. We don't have a footballer in it, but this just felt right to me. For this series, we have 26 options, 6 special versions, and 2 secrets. So this is a really big series with a lot of possibilities. And there's a ton on here that I really like from both sides. And don't hate me for picking this series because it reminded me of our ex-boyfriends. I thought it was very tongue-in-cheek and funny. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. First, we have to free it from the plastic. And then we have a little security tag on the back to confirm it's never been opened. And for the newer Finding Unicorn series, they keep putting the card on the back of the bag. So if you don't want to get spoiled, don't look at the back. The Bobland bag is really cute. I love the custom bags that Finding Unicorn does. And this one seems kind of small. I'm not sure which one it is. It's so hard to guess. There's so many options, but let's see. I think this is the Rat Knight. Oh no, this is definitely not one of the ones I liked at all. Oh, that is too bad. And let's go ahead and open up this card, which is in a lot of unnecessary plastic. I know for Finding Unicorn, they do specialty cards for all of their series now. We didn't get a special card, just a regular one. It's pretty basic, it just says the Rat Knight on it. I think I like the card more than I like the figure though. I'm a little bit sad about the one we got. This is definitely not the Farmer Bob I was hoping for. There's definitely nothing wrong with this figure. It does look pretty cute, but I don't think it's really my vibe for my toy collection. Although I do really like the green beard. I think that part is nice. And Farmer Bob figures do have a lot of details on them. The other one that I ended up unboxing, I did really like though, so it's too bad I didn't get lucky. There is so many you can get in this series though. It's really hard to get the ones that you want. Farmer Bob, though, usually isn't available on the aftermarket, and if it is, it tends to be expensive. You'll have to let me know if you think this one is really cute, though. Do you like our little mouse knight? 
I definitely think the night fits the Taylor Swift theme though. It definitely looks like it could be a character from the Lover video. Overall for Bobland, I think I would still get another blind box though because there's a few in this series that I'm really interested in. So this is definitely still on my wish list, even though we didn't get one that I was crazy about. Here's a look at all the blind box figures I opened up in today's video. You'll have to let me know down below in the comments which was your favorite. I definitely think for me, my favorite was the Pucky we opened up at the very beginning. And I think this is probably the most Taylor Swift one we got. And of course my Peach Cat as well. Those two were my favorites for sure. I love them so much. And if you didn't notice, my Rabbit Cafe coffee bean one kept on falling over. So this one definitely has a little bit of trouble standing. But I definitely would put it in second place with my ghost here no repeat and sadly the farmer bob is a last place for me just wasn't my vibe but thank you so much for watching the first treasure trove of 2024 let me know if you want to see another taylor swift themed video in the future and I don't know, maybe if this video does do pretty well, I can do a, another artist that I'm a big fan of. There is a few K-pop bands that I think might be good contenders for Treasure Trove like Blackpink or New Jeans. And if you're a big Taylor Swift fan, let me know how many Easter eggs you spotted in the background. I hope you have a great night and I'll see you on the next video.